Hello, we are here with Angie today. Angie is a many time Iron Woman and has some of the tightest hips of any person that I've ever seen. So she's gonna take us through and show us some poses and I'm gonna tell you about some things you can do if you're in a yoga class or you're practicing some poses at home that you can modify if you have really tight hips. So we're gonna have you come into half floor frog. So Angie's gonna come to laying down on her stomach on her mat or on her carpet, wherever she is. Then she's gonna take her left knee and bring it up in line with her left hip. And then her left ankle will come underneath her left knee. From there she can bring her left elbow out into a little just nice shoulder stretch here. But this is a really the most gentle way to open through your hips because it's, there's very little pressure. Your body weight isn't on top of your leg like a half pigeon, uh, but it's still getting a lot of sensation. How's this feel? Good. So she's getting a nice inner thigh stretch in addition to the IT band and getting into that hip and hip flexor area. So this is something you can do and hold for a period of time. So you could do this anywhere from two minutes to five minutes. Just relax into the shape. You don't really have to do anything. You can just be here and you're getting the benefits. And obviously you'll switch sides and do that on the other side. But for sake of time, I'm going to have Angie come up into a tabletop position and then lie down onto her back. And we'll show you what she can do if she's in a yoga class and the teacher cues happy baby pose. So go ahead and go into what happy baby pose traditionally would look like. So she's kind of got to roll her hips up in order to make this pose happen. So instead, I'm going to have her grab her ankles instead of her feet. And so you can see how her sacrum gets a little closer towards her mat. And you even grab the back of your knees from here. And so this is also another great option. So she's working on getting her hips a little looser to the point that she can grab her feet, but not quite yet because it doesn't really feel that great, right? No. So now it's feeling a little bit better. She's got gravity helping her. Knees are nice and wide in towards the armpits. How's it going? Good. 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 So the last one I'm going to show you is a legs up the wall variation. So Angie's going to come over to the wall. So she's going to come over and bring one of her hips as close to a wall as she can. And then from there she'll send her legs straight up. And then she can shimmy a little bit, get your hips as close as you can. Good. And so this is a really great supportive posture, uh, something that would be really nice uh, just at the end of the day. But for Angie, we're going to take it specifically for the hips into a figure four. So she's going to take her uh, right knee and bend her right knee and bring her right ankle to the top of her left knee. This could be plenty. She could hang out here and feel that stretch, the opening through the inner and outer thigh over here. Or she can start to slide this left heel down the wall a little bit. And it could just be a little bit, could be a lot. But you can play with that. Really the goal is to keep your sacrum on your mat. So if the sacrum starts to lift up, send your heel back up a little bit. You're getting the stretch, right? Yeah, this feels good. So uh, obviously hold this for a good chunk of time. Again, two to five minutes. Just relax. She's totally supported. Very little effort from her shoulders, her arms, her core. She can just relax in the shape and then she can switch sides and do it on the other side. So this is something you can do and relax into the shape. You can relax your arms and her torso and she can just enjoy the stretch and really put little effort forth. And obviously switch sides, you can hold it anywhere from two to five minutes. And those are some really good modifications that you can do if you have really tight hips.